All right, so this video is very, very overdue. Now, this video is talking about me as well as my cars and just kind of a current life update for you guys. Because like, most of the videos I post are always like filming, either building the cars or you know working on them, filming events, stuff like that. I haven't talked about me, an update on the cars, my life, everything like that. So that's what this video is going to be today. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Caden, or as a lot of you guys probably know me as Hi-Fi on TikTok and YouTube and all that kind of stuff like that. Now, I make a bunch of gaming videos as well as cars like this, or as well as videos on cars like this. So you guys get the point. Now, I kind of wanted to make this video as like a life update update for you guys so you guys kind of know more about me and know more about my life right now. Now I just recently moved out from my parents house into my own house where I have my own garage where I can have both my cars here and film a bunch of content in my own stream room. I'll do a house tour in this video, talk about the cars, so much to come. So make sure you watch for the rest of the, rest of the video. I'm trying to do this in one run, not stutter at all, but that, that kind of backfired. So this is my garage now and this is my house. My roommate will be moving in here in a couple months, but for right now I'm just living by myself right now and it's awesome. It's cool to be able to film every single day in my own cars and not worry about getting in my parents' way or anything like that. It's so cool to have both my cars here in the house I'll get a tour of the house in a second but let's talk about the car so I've made videos on this car for about three years now I've had it since I was in high school this is my 2015 Subaru WRX that I've just been building to have fun on the street with not a track car at all just something to have fun with take to car meets car, cars and coffee stuff like that I'll get into the mods in a second but then this is what I picked up last December of 23, my E46 drift car, because I've always wanted a drift car. For those of you that don't know, I've been filming drifting for the past couple of years um, you know, on Instagram, everything like that. And I got addicted to it when I was like 16, 15, 16. And I finally was able, thanks to your guys' support, to be able to get my own drift car. And it was, I ended up going with an E46. I wanted an IS300, but I found an E46 and I could not pass up on the deal. And I'm so happy I went with this instead of an IS300. This has been an amazing car the last two events. And I can't wait to film more events for you guys. But so let me get let me break down everything I've done to both of these cars, and then um, I'll do, get a house tour for you guys. So starting off with the E46. Now let me pop the hood for you guys and pop the hood. So in the engine right now, when I bought this thing, it was obviously completely stock, still is, but it had so many problems: vacuum leaks, oil leaks, everything. I probably spent about 48 hours underneath this car fixing everything to it. Doesn't leak oil, doesn't leak coolant, doesn't overheat. Engine runs runs flawlessly the past two events. I just recently replaced the valve cover gas get with a new aluminum valve cover as well there's the stock one over there somewhere this looks amazing so engine is completely stock only makes about 180 horsepower but man it goes sideways and I love this engine so much Beamer engines are growing on me this thing's a lot of fun now that I know how to work on it too it's actually a lot of fun to work on as well but stock engine and as you guys can see it's paired with BC coilovers and I'll get to the suspension stuff in a second but yeah stock engine just the valve cover replaced and uh, I'm putting on some catless headers here pretty soon it has an exhaust I'll get to that in a second as well but hang on I gotta get past the mirror I'm putting on catless headers here pretty soon that I have right here they're just kind of hard to install in this car so I'm, wa I'm waiting on that but I'm installing those here pretty soon and then uh, gotta scoot past the mirror Ugh. so engine is completely stock runs amazing and I love it so much it's super fun to drive but uh, going away from the engine and going into suspension it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see here I apologize under here we have um, new sway bar end links tire rods control arms control arm bushings with the um, I don't know what you call those the housing for the bushing BC coilovers and the CNC knuckles right there and new slotted and drilled rotors right there as well as Vors VR8 wheels all the way around. So suspension in the front is completely dialed in. As you guys can see, it's got crazy drift fitment compared to the rear. Or well, I guess it's got crazy drift fitment with more camber in the front, less in the rear. Um, quick explanation for that. This car obviously has an angle kit, which means normal cars turn like this, like the Subaru. This one turns like that. So I have a lot more angle to drift and when your wheels are have this much camber, when you have when your wheels are at full lock all the way, these wheels are flat on the ground for more contact patch and more traction in the front. So that's why I have more positive camber in the front compared to the rear. Just more grippy and more grip in the front when I'm sideways. And then uh, going to the interior, we have a Corbo bucket seat right here. Paired with the uh, D&D quick release right here. As you guys can see, this wheel is so much fun. I love this thing. And then uh, I actually, at the time I'm filming this, tonight I'm picking up another matching Corbo seat to go in the passenger seat. And I'm also deleting the back seats today. I'm not going to do that in the video, but deleting the back seats because it's just weight reduction and also storage. And I don't need them anymore. I'm drifting, so I'm going to gut the car pretty soon. But uh, yeah, that's the next on the list for this car as well as the headers. But interior, great right now. This bucket seat's awesome from the track. Then coming back here, Vors VR8 wheels as well. I also have like 15 spare wheels in the backyard for drift spares. And then um, I have a valve exhaust right here. As you guys can see in there, there's a little valve. So I can click a button on my keys, make it loud or quiet. Sounds amazing and I love it. Probably forgetting a few things, but um, 
yeah, so interior is getting dialed, engine is dialed in after fixing so many things on it. What else? The wheels, a bunch of different drift spares, and then I also got my toolbox set up in my garage as well as all these cabinets, which is amazing to have. I'm probably forgetting a lot in the car. I went through that really quick. There's a lot more I'm probably forgetting, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, now moving on to the WRX, which this car is what started it all, and there's so much stuff done in this car, I'm definitely going to forget. I am sorry if I do, but uh, let's start off under the hood as well, actually. Here we go, and pop the hood. There we go. So in the engine, we have the Cobb intercooler paired with the Cobb charge pipe as well. Parent intake with the Mishimoto radiator hoses, which look really good right there. Mishimoto radiator, there's a Grim Speed bypass valve down there. Uh, you can kind of see the little red thing down there. Makes turbo noises like crazy. I'll put some clips on the screen. Sounds amazing. It is tuned on 91. I think this makes close to 300 horsepower or so, but once I get a new catless downpipe or high flow cat downpipe as well as tuned for 85, it should be making close to 400 of the wheels, which is insane. I think there's some other things to the engine I kind of forgot, but this thing looks amazing. And uh, this thing is so much fun to drive. I hate to say it, I think I might like it more than the Beamer, I don't know. But it's so fun to drive, especially with the turbo. So there we go, there's the engine. And then the front of the car is a Cybon, Cbon carbon fiber hood. This is one of my favorite mods I've ever done to any car. Amazing. And then you have these spider sequential tail or headlights right here. Let me grab my keys. So you can, as you can see, they are sequential. And we have LED fog lights and turn signal lights, carbon fiber splitter, carbon fiber grill. All carbon fiber on this car is real. Um... What else is on the front? Uh, you have Avid wheels right here. Really common wheel, I might switch that out eventually. Uh, new brakes are coming here pretty soon, hopefully for this car. Painted calipers though. Moving to the interior, you have my Cobb access port as you can see right there. Let me scoot in here. You have the Cobb access port right there, so that's why I can do all my tuning and everything like that. Um, got some carbon fiber trim pieces, um, weighted shift knob, subwoofer adjuster, so I have the subwoofer in the back. Interior is super clean in this car. I don't plan to change it anytime soon. But then uh, it is lowered on lowering springs right now, not coilovers, but eventually I do want to put some BCs like the um, BMW, but we're going to keep the lowering springs. Also, I forgot I do have a lug conversion for the BMW. Anyway, um, going to the rear, we have the STI wing, carbon fiber, you know, badge, and as well as this trim piece, the Hi-Fi 4 plate with the carbon fiber, um, like, little thingy on the outside. Yeah, that. I have a titanium exhaust down here, which sounds amazing. I'll put some clips of that as well. It will sound even better once I get it paired with a Catless or High Flow Cat downpipe in E85. Got sequential tail lights as well. Love those so much. And then I think that's mostly it. I don't know for sure. I feel like I went through both these cars so quick. There's probably about 10 to 20 things I forgot on each car for all I know. There's so much stuff I've done to these cars. But there's the cars and I've done all these, I've done both these cars built by the time I'm, I'm not even 20 yet. And it's so crazy that I'm able to do this because of your guys' support on all platforms. I'm so blessed and so thankful that you guys support me to do this. It's so cool. Um, there's the stock valve cover, some more tires, catless headers, the toolbox, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, there's the two cars. It's super cool that I'm able to do this now and full time. This is my job now is filming cars, doing gaming content. I'm so blessed that I'm able to do this. It's so unbelievable. I'm so thankful. Then moving to the interior of the house, so the front door is just around that corner over there. And here we have laundry room, you know, nothing crazy in here. I am renting this house, the paint does not look super good, but it doesn't bother me, so that's just, it, yeah, it doesn't look very good, but it's fine. So you got laundry room in here, once you, and then this leads to the garage, obviously, right there. Then you come in here, and then this is where the magic happens in this room right here, where I record all my gaming videos. Look at this setup. This is so sick. I love this one. light. Turn on, please. Oh, hang on. Um, here's where all the magic happens with the gaming videos. You got the iRel up and atomizer. My camera's blurry. Hang on. All right. Then we got uh, the next level racing chair, my PC, two monitors for my PS5. Those two were for my PC down there. Got the YouTube play button for the gaming channel. I love you guys. That is so surreal to have that. Got the sound deadening in the background for the camera, ring light, um, keyboard, mouse, E46 mouse pad. As you guys can see, that is my merch shop. Go check that out. Um, what else we got? We got a speaker to listen to music while I edit. We don't talk about the cable management. We don't, we don't look at that. Nope, nope, we're going over here. But yeah, this is the setup where I record all my videos in this office. This is my stream room. Gonna put some more stuff on this wall over here. 
stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this is the setup. It's super cool to see all this stuff. It's awesome. And this is my dream setup since I was a little kid, and it's super cool to have this. So there's where I record all my videos. And then this room, it's kind of just an empty room right now. My girlfriend makes um, her Miata shirts in here. I'll put a picture of those on screen. And it's kind of just a storage room. It'll be my roommate's room once he moves in at the end of summer, probably. Laundry room, garage, roommate's room, office right here. I'll shut the light off in here. And come down this hall right here. This is my bedroom. So I'm still not fully moved in. Remember that? Not fully moved in. I still got to work on a lot of stuff. But uh, walk in my bedroom and we have two bins of Hot Wheels. This is probably a couple hundred Hot Wheels in here. There's so many of them. Insane. I think there's even more in there too. There's tons of Hot Wheels. So I can fill up my entire room full of them. But then over here is my room right here. So... I do have a kitty. She's under my bed. I'll show you guys her in a second. But we got uh, some helmets for the track. My old dirt bike helmet. I kind of want to get a dirt bike to make some content on that as well. Bucket seat, some steering wheels signed by FD drivers. Um, Huracan poster. My car. That's on my merch shop as well. Check that out. Um, Ken Block's Porsche. BMW M flag. Some Hot Wheels. Pikachu. My surfboard, which is actually how I got the name Hi-Fi right here. As you guys can see. Hi-Fi. Uh, Samurai sword because, well, I felt like it. And then under here, I believe my cat's under here. Shelby. I named her Shelby. Where is she at? Oh, there she is. Hi. How are you? So that's Shelby. I obviously named her after you guys get the point. Must that you get the point. Anyway, named her Shelby. There's my bathroom right there. Um, closet around this corner in here. Um, yeah. And then you can see my camera. I need to upgrade my camera. Well, there's two of me. This is weird. Um, yeah, so bathroom, kind of a mess. I need to clean this all up. But uh, R34 poster right here. Beautiful. Come around this corner, you got bathroom, closet, closet. And then this is the living room right here. So we got my recliner, we got some chairs, just some lamps. Um, this is very minimalist, I know. I need to work on it more. We got TV right here as well. I want to do more with this stuff, but I'm going to make videos in the house and stuff like that. Um, just haven't really done a lot with the living room. I've been focusing on my room, stream room, garage, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, then we have dining room table, random shelves for some reason. Then we got the kitchen, we got pantry. Um, I'm out of breath. Um, fridge, like all the kitchen stuff right here. And then backyard out here. There's not much back here besides a tree. Then if you come over here, we have all my drift tire storage. We got Michaela's Miata tires, stock seat. Got an extra differential. We've got some brand new tires that are gonna be mounted on here. These are all good wheels ready to go on the track. Those are all messed up ones. Um, yeah, we got a nice tree in the backyard. Backs up to a mountain right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I am so blessed to have this like living situation when I'm 20 years old. That's insane. But it's so surreal because you guys' support, I'm able to do this, and I'm so blessed. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to make this video too to talk about the fact that I've been very inconsistent across all platforms the past month because I've been working on moving into this new house, Formula Drift, just chaos. And I know that's kind of confusing to watch my content when it's all over the place. I apologize for that. I'm gonna start being more consistent starting in the beginning of May. Which is actually tomorrow at the time I'm recording this. I probably I'm probably posting this at the beginning of May. Um, I really want to be more consistent, showing you guys a bunch about my life, gaming content, all that kind of cool stuff. But because I've been so inconsistent, I'm gonna start editing the vlogs that I haven't been editing recently. So the next like four or five videos I'm posting, some of them are probably gonna be videos that I've already recorded in the past. And I apologize for that. I just been it's very it's been hard for me to balance the move, gaming content and vlog content and editing all that in one. Um, so now that I'm in my own house and I have this amazing situation where I'm able to make content full time, I'm gonna be a lot more con a lot more consistent with those videos. So there's the house, my room, stream room, um, the garage in here as well, all that kind of stuff. Kind of a quick little tour, but uh, yeah. So there's the garage, there's the house, everything like that. Uh, I know this video might be kind of all over the place, but I really wanted to update you guys and get to know me as a person, my little like my living situation with doing content full time, as well as talking about everything I've done to my cars and just thanking you guys for being able to support me, for, for supporting me so I'm able to do this full time. It's truly it's so unbelievable and I am so blessed. But I, and I thank you guys so much for supporting me. It's so unreal that I'm able to do this. Like, I would have killed for this like a year ago. It's so crazy to me. But uh, there's the very quick little hi-fi, oh, camera too close. The like hi-fi, like a life update slash house tour slash, I don't even know. But there's a little update for you guys. I appreciate all of you guys watching my videos, supporting me, love it, like loving the content. It means so much to me. There's my view from my window, tires. <laughs> but that's that's the quick little house tour. Now my roommate, Drew, which you guys met in my video where I revealed the BMW. He'll be moving in with me here pretty soon. Michaela, my girlfriend who drifts the Miata. You guys have seen her in my videos. She's over here all the time working on our cars together. It's really cool. I cannot wait to film more stuff for you guys. I have so much planned because doing content full time in my own house has been my dream since I was... I don't even know, like five years old, it's, it's insane. So I cannot wait to share with you guys 
so much more content coming soon. I apologize, this video is kind of all over the place, I know. Still getting used to being on camera, I'm not going to lie, but here we are. <laughs> And I just want to thank you guys again for supporting me. It's so cool. I apologize for all oh, that is bright. But there are the two cars. There's the life update for you guys. If you guys want to see more videos like this where it's kind of just me talking about me and like you guys getting to know me behind the camera, let me know. I'd love to do that. I want you guys to get to know me for me, not just the guy that plays GTA, you know. So I appreciate all of you guys watching. If you guys want to see more content like this, let me know. I love every single one of you guys. I'll see you all next one.